everyone this is Cheryl Moore with glitters and more and I'm here to do a review of a starter or travel kit with the sexy mix gels um, everything that you see let me move the camera here everything that you see is included and well except for the nail pops that I have right here um, but you get 50 of the UV gel uh, wipes for when you go to take your gel off you get two different filing nail files. My brain will get it. Um, you get nail clippers, a fingernail brush. You get two different kinds of uh, cuticle pushers and movers and fingernail clippers. I think I said that. Um, you get this, which is really neat for, um, it's like tweezers, but for if you want to need to pinch your nails or to put gems on. You also get this and you just put your gel on there, put it in the lamp, cure it, and then put it on your nail polish so you know what it is. Um, here's some cuticle oil that you get and you get this neat handy lamp. It's not the big one or anything else like that but it makes it easy to take somewhere. You just, whoops, here we go. Um, plug it in there. It's a U, uh, USB adapter and I don't have it in the computer so I just use one of those um, that you put your USB plug that into and plug it into the wall. We all have a million of them for our phones and everything else. There you go. It's a nice pretty soft pink color as well. And it just sits there and the legs fold up so it goes into next next to nothing. Everything was packaged really, really well. But the star of the show are the gels. So let me set this up so I can show you guys. Let me move these away. Okie dokie. First of all, you do get a base coat. And it's, you know your typical base coat. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. And the smell's not bad at all with it. You get five different temperature changing or sometimes people like to call them mood changing gels. Um, and they actually have three different colors to be honest with the shades. Um, cold, like it's winter, you know, you get one color room temperature, you get another, and then um, hot, you get another one. So that's kind of a neat surprise. And then here is their top coat. And it is really nice. You can see it's a great consistency, what you want it to be. It's not too thick, it's self-leveling, of course, and it is not too thin that it's gonna go and flood your cuticles and everything. Okay, I also have brought some water. There's hot, or at least pretty warm anyway, and cold. I'll put it right here. This is the first color I want to show you is number 5716. It does have a thing on here where you can see what color it is, but to be honest to me, you can't really tell. But look at that. That is such, this is room color temp. It's such a vibrant purple. It's not a buttery, creamy, or anything else like that. It's a purple. It kind of makes a statement to me. And this is that color at room temperature. Now, you get outside and it's cold. This one doesn't change as much as some of them. It's a little bit darker. You go where it's warm. Look at that pink. Isn't that pretty? Let me show you the other colors and then I'll show you um, what I did just for fun. Now this is 5746. It is a blue with um, silver glitter in there. It's a nice consistency. It's not too thick like some of them are. And Actually, I'm going to show you all three since I did them that way. This is 5738. It's a really pretty sheer pink with um, pink and a little silver glitter in there. Probably have my fingers over it where you can't see. And the third one 
is 5758 and this is a red with some silver glitter in that and like I said as you can see it, it's a really good consistency and then the last one it's a solid you have two solids and three glittered um, this last solid one is 5703 and it's kind of a soft purple a fuchsia ish I don't know what color you'd call it but it's really pretty and again it's not a creamy one or anything else it's just it's the color so here are all three of the glittered ones done and this is room temperature and it has one coat of top coat and I did two coats of the um, gel polish and you can and especially for being on these um, clear acrylic nail things you got good coverage so anyway here's your blue there's your pink and there's your red so let's put it all in cold first excuse my hands let me tip it and as you can see the colors there we go colors got more vibrant this is a much a, a darker blue a real more intense pink and the red is more red now if we do it under the hot don't fail me now here we go a really light pink or blue and you can see that silver is it makes it really pretty then you've got the pink and the it's a light pink and that glitter is really pretty and then here that last one who would have thought it goes to white and this was the red one begin is that right yeah it is okay um, now what I wanted to try was what if we put each one of these three over a base coat of the two solids so what I did here is this is a coat of the each color over the 5716 the purple and there you are make sure you guys can see and let's put it in cold excuse me let me tip this make sure it gets it good and remember this is over a dark purple but look how pretty it is that blue becomes more purpley but it has a depth to it this one is really pretty the pink over the purple and then the red one is kind of turned I don't know it's just different it's a prettier color than what you would think and then here is it it is in warm and so they become different shades of pink but again I think they're both really pretty and give you different looks can you imagine okay there's cold air and you've got you know kind of half and half and then here are the same gels over this 5703 and here they are in cold I don't want this to run too long but I want you guys to be able to see it it was a neat look so there you go under the cold and let's do it in warm And so that blue is really pretty. That pink really kind of, you see the pink glitter, but you don't see so much. It becomes more of a blue background. And this one also goes to more of a blue background, um, but it has kind of like a frosted ice look to it. Picture it being cold. And there's your nails. That's a pretty look. Anyway, these are really nice gels. Let me move this out of the way so I don't knock it over. They're made by Sexy Mix. A lot of us have a lot of their um, polishes because they're good quality. They last and they don't chip off or anything else like that. They're not the big bottles. I think they're, let me see if I can read it. I can't. Um, but they're the smaller bottles. But, you know, it's a good size. You can definitely do gosh probably five sets um, easily and then still have some left over um, you get the top and the base coat so you can't go wrong there and I will put the link 
<coughs> excuse me, for all of this in the description. And thank you so much for watching.